a recent announcement in Dota 2 that the International, which is pretty much the major of that game, has been delayed, brings up a huge issue for CSGO for a couple reasons. First of all, the event is being held in Sweden, the same place as a CSGO PGL major this year, and Dota and CSGO are both owned by Valve if you didn't know already, so you can expect a similar decision for both games. So let's talk about it more in depth and what's going to happen to the CSGO major, if anything, and how it's going to affect skin slash sticker capsule prices, as the last few times the major got cancelled, it caused huge spikes in price. But just before we get into it, let's talk about our sponsor, Traded.gg, the best trading site out there to get the full price for your CSGO skins. They have a stacked inventory with anything that you're looking for, and prices much better than competitors. Like for example, look at my butterfly knife on a competitor's site, only $385, while on Traded I can get it for $414. Also, if you click that link at the top of the description or in the pinned comment, if you're a first time user, you get a 50 cent bonus on a trade of $10 or more. And if you aren't a first time user, it does help support me as well. So easy skins, easy money, and the best prices out there. So be sure to check out Traded.gg today. But for now, let's get right into the video. So first of all, let's skim through the post that was made about TI-10. It says, over the course of the past year, Stockholm Live and Visit Stockholm continued to reassure us in our regular and contract communications with them that the international qualified for the same exemptions other elite sports events there received. However, despite previous reassurances, we were informed two weeks ago that the Swedish Sports Federation had just voted not to accept esports into the Sports Federation. So this whole thing starts with Valve getting kind of finessed by Sweden because they don't view esports as actual sports, so it brought up a lot of issues. They go on to say that our only remaining option was to ask Sweden's Minister of the Interior to reclassify the international as an elite sporting event, and they got immediately denied. Then, on June 14th, they followed up asking them to reconsider, and they have so far been unable to find a resolution. As a result, and in light of the current political situation in Sweden, Valve has started looking for possible alternatives elsewhere in Europe to host the event. They say that they feel confident that in either instance, whether Sweden can host the international or not, that they'll find a solution that allows them to hold TI-10 in Europe this year, and that they'll have an updated plan in the near future. They also remain committed to hosting the international this year in a way that's safe for everybody involved and properly celebrates players and fans of Dota 2. I assume that means they're going to have a live crowd still. I doubt they would make this event online at this point because it would be incredibly disappointing for fans especially after such a long wait for a big event like this, whether it be for Dota or for CSGO. If this event was held online, people would kind of lose their minds. So pretty much everything in this post goes for the same as CS, but there is some good news. The International was set to start at early August, just over a month away from now, while the CSGO Major is still set to start about two months later than that. So it's very possible nothing can happen to the CSGO Major based off this, and the Major still happens at the same time. But then again, it's very possible that that doesn't happen as well because the blog post said, Quote, we were informed that the Swedish Sports Federation had just voted not to accept esports into the Sports Federation, so that could bring up some more issues, and whether it means the major is going to be delayed or not, or if it's just going to be moved locations, either way is kind of possible. So it's very possible that this can still affect the CSGO major in some way, whether it be a relocation or pushing it back yet again. So why is this so important? The major has been pushed back before, so why are we even talking about this at all? Well, one of the first times the major was originally pushed back, November 9th, prices in past stickers and sticker capsules shot up in price, like a really big margin. These sticker capsules were nearly up $1 from around $266 to $363, so if you sold at that point, you would have made a huge profit. On March 24th, the major was pushed back yet again, and it saw another huge spike up in price, about half as much as last time, but still a really noticeable spike, and then died back down pretty much just a few days after the update was announced, or I guess the news was announced rather. So if an update comes out that the major is pushed back, expect to see another spike like this, but not for it to last too long at all, like definitely less than a week. 
And just for another example, yes, the sticker prices and not just capsules increase when this happens as well. Like the Vitality Hollow increased about a dollar as well in December when it was announced that the major was going to be pushed back same exact time as the capsules. It all lines up. So these things are very notably correlated and have been in the past. So of course, if the major gets pushed back once again, it's going to have an effect on not only the RMR stickers and capsules, but all the older capsules as well. And I know a lot of people aren't too happy with their price trend and how many of them are in supply, especially with the RMR stickers. So selling if the major gets canceled and these things have a huge spike could be a great opportunity to move your investing money elsewhere if that is your plan. So it's a great thing to keep your eye out on. And it's definitely something I'm going to be looking at and you'll probably see another video on it if it does end up happening. But this is kind of just a forewarning. So overall, that's about it for this video. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up for what could be coming in the future. Since the major is two months after the Dota International, it may take a while for this news to be announced by CSGO devs if anything is changing. So I wouldn't expect a new like update or blog post in the next week or something, but it may very well come. So besides all that, if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and want to learn more about CSGO investing content. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.